up, what up, what up, Pontiac Man 7272, coming back at you again with another video, you got it, you got it, yeah, you got it. Pontiac man, coming back at you again with another video. You got it. You got it. Y'all yeah. got, got it. Y'all got it. Okay. We're Today, we're we'll be doing, as you can see in the background, uh, one of the panels, the door panels uh, to my wife's 82 Cutlass. I get it wrong a lot, but it is an 82 Oldsmobile Cutlass. This is the door panel. The, the bottom side of the door panel. Um, and as you can see, hold up just a little bit, because it's kind of big. Um, this is the complete bottom half. bottom half of this door panel. And as you can see, guys, once you see this video, that you will be able to zoom in and see all the different scratches and scrapes and all the bumps and bruises. It's all, it's all down this whole thing. This carpet will be replaced, but we will clean it up for you today, uh, just to give you a little something of how it could look. Um, so, what we'll be using today is hot soap and water, for one. We'll also be using this awesome carpet cleaner. We'll also be using a hard brush. And one of my favorites, you guys, DC-99. This is an all-purpose cleaner for dirt, grease, grime. You can also use it on your clothes. And I also use it sometimes as, I hate to say it, I don't want her to know, but I'm going to let you guys know now. Some of the dishes some of our dishes that we don't use for eating just to let you guys know oh, okay well, i was about to say <laughs> okay but just let us uh get set up but this company if you guys are interested in this cleaner i will leave the link in the description box of this company you guys and this stuff is called dc let me see dc 99 see so you guys and it is a strong cleaner. You're going to want to use gloves with it. Um, and they will ship if need be. Yeah, they ship out, you guys. And they also have other products, you guys. But we're going to jump into this video, you guys. So let's begin. Okay. Where are we going? I'll hold it for you. Okay. Oh, it's up to you what um, you want to do first. I'll be using the the DC-99. Um, it doesn't have a label on it, but you know what I'm using. I'm going to start with the plastic piece. Okay. Um, and the brush is to agitate it a little bit. Don't lather up, but don't worry about that. I also use one of my towels that I use for detailing. Get that wet with soapy water. You just gonna wipe it down? Yeah, yeah. I just wipe this down a little bit. And you guys, I was anxious to do this because, like I said, my car is on its way to the mechanic shop. But I wanted to pull these door panels out so I can go ahead and be um, clean them up and repaint them um, for now. I, 
well, yeah, dying, dying them, you guys, for now. Um, but eventually, I probably will get my interior done. But it won't. I doubt it will be this year, you guys. Um, I just basically want to clean it, the inside up, because I'm going to be driving this car um, in the summertime, you guys. And I just wanted to look decent, you know, while I'm driving it. Um, and these were, these are in bad shape, you guys. Um, if you watch, we, we did another video, huh? Yeah. The last video that I did, you guys, I showed these door panels, how they look up close, you guys. And they're all scratched up. And I don't know. I don't know how you can even do this. To a door panel. I mean, what it's, what in the world was this person doing that they tore up the door panel? Like, I, <laughs> I'm I, sorry, you guys. I told, Look, I'm getting real now. I told you where this car uh -uh. came from. It came from a real nasty mechanic. Mm -mm. So, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure some of you guys have <laughs> backyard mechanics. What they call shade tree mechanics, and they don't they don't take care of their cars. So. The backyard mechanics, I'm kind of scared to let work on my car, but this is a uh, this is one of those panels, uh, one of the vehicles that I purchased from uh, a mechanic, and this is the result of uh, when you're taking over a car like this, you have to clean it all out. No, but they said the person that had this car before the mechanic was a lady, and she kept this car up. It was very clean. It was clean, but when this other person got their hands on this car, they just totally, I don't know. Disrespected. But I don't do my vehicles like this, you guys. Oh, <laughs> it definitely got to change, be cleaned up. Um, yeah. And you guys, I thought I was picky, but she's more picky than I am. And by this being her car, I have to be very, very careful. Even though these are old jacked up panels. It's going to look pretty good when I'm done with it. Nah. They're going to look like brand new panels. Watch. Watch you guys. But if you have a... a I don't, I'm not going to just say G-Body, but any car. If you um, don't want to get your uh, interior done right away, you guys, and... I'll give you... I'll definitely give you, you guys some you, tips. You don't want to ride like this? And you want to um, DIY it yourself, this is the way to go right here. This is the way to go. And for my, for my paint, like I said, we have a place here that um, they will match your um, interior paint up. You just take them a little piece. Um, or if it's actually the, um, the body of your car, if you just have a little, a little scratch here there and you can pretty much kind of figured out and do it yourself they can actually scan your vehicle I don't know where you're located but if you're located in a place where they have uh, places like we have they can come outside and actually scan your vehicle and give you the correct color of your vehicle so you can't go wrong with that look at this dirt I don't even want to show you guys a close way it really look like Ooh. Well, I can be cleaning this part because this part right here. And you don't have to have colored gloves on, but we definitely have gloves. Can you have me um, one of those? What? That plastic bag. The plastic bag? Yeah, so I can at least. Like I said, you guys, I'm doing this inside my craft, my craft room. If there's any um, women, hire women out there, my craft room, yep, I craft you guys, but I like cars too. Um, so we make it happen though. But I brought this inside my craft room. That's how bad I wanted to finish these. Because, you know what, it's cold outside here still, and it's supposed to rain like for almost a week you guys so I know I'm not gonna be able to do it outside so I do what I have to do oh so you gonna do it now no I'm just gonna spray this down so it can be sitting on there 
and all I have to do is wipe it off. You can leave it sitting on here. See how I'm spraying it down, you guys. And you can let it sit as long as you want to. Yep. Uh, it won't hurt. So that's about enough. Look, I get crazy with the spray, so I'm gonna leave that alone. But she'll blame me if she starts choking. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And trust me, she knows what she's doing. I mean, anybody can do this. But you are not... Just wiping it down. But you are not a detailer. This is a car. This is not furniture. And I'm not trying to be... Uh, what they say? Um, how can I put it in without discriminating myself? Uh, a womanizer? Or... No. You got the definition. I got the oh. definition wrong? Oh. What is it? I don't know what it is. You don't know? I, I know that much is not is not what you do. Well, what do they, what do they say when you come into a um, uh, a part store and you get to asking questions about your car? They want you to know. They want you to say what year make and model is your vehicle. I don't want to be a female chauvinist. Chauvinist. That's what it is. Oh. Well. I know the year, make, model, the motor, everything about my vehicle. What size is your motor? I have a 6.0. <laughs> I ain't talking about the Cadillac Escalade. I'm talking about this Oldsmobile. Oh, I have a 350 Rocket. What color does it supposed to be? No, <laughs> it is going back gold to see, see you guys. See? I give it to you. You know a little bit. Okay. It's turning out good, though. Uh, yeah, it, like, it came pretty clean. We didn't do the whole bottom bottom side of the carpet. We just wanted to give you a little a little snippet of what it could look like or what it's gonna look like. Um, like I said, um, and the top. This is really bad, but I guess when it dries up, you'll be able to see the difference. But right now. It's decent. Yeah, it is. I'm actually um, kind of surprised at, the, surprised at the outcome. That towel is nasty. Well, it came from this. But you guys, we are going to finish these door panels up. And we will be back to show you the results of them all cleaned up, you guys. Using this DC-99 and this awesome carpet cleaner that you can get you guys know dollar general if you have one in your um state um any dollar hard, tree hardware every, store everywhere sells awesome you guys um but we will cut you back on you did <laughs> okay you guys so me and my husband cleaned these door panels and this was the end result um the carpet is all dry you guys but you see how bad these door panels are you guys and this is like i said this is the bottom half of these door panels um but look i'm gonna zoom in close see that you guys i mean they're scratched up all the way down the door panel Look at that. And I'm steady going down, you guys. Even in the inside. And see this, um, this right here, you guys. This. I'm even going to get the rust off of this. I have to get the rust off of that, too. To some people it won't matter, but to me it does. So I'm going to, going to be taking the rust off of these before I paint them, dye them. I shouldn't say paint, dye, you guys. But this is the other one. And the carpet did come clean, you guys. It looks nice. But this is the other door panel, and it's in the same shape, you guys. And I just don't know how a door panel can get this way. What possibly could you be doing for the door panel 
to end up like this. And like I said, the person that had this car, they they um purchased this car from um a lady and this lady she kept the car up. It was nowhere near like this, you guys. It was immaculate in the inside. But a year later, this is what happened. <laughs> this is how it looked a year later, you guys. No joke. <laughs> but this is what <laughs> I'm going to do. I'm going to dye these door panels to the best of my ability, you guys. And then probably later on down the line, I'll probably get my interior done. But I'm going to try to keep it the original way and I was gonna um I don't know if I'm gonna change the inside color of it later on but for now I'm just gonna keep it this color you guys but when I um redo these redye these panels I will be showing you guys the process but like I said, I just have, I wanted them clean to the best of my ability for when I do dye them, you guys. They'll already be cleaned up and stuff. So, you guys, make sure that you stay tuned to these videos. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you guys will see me on my husband's channel. Um, just because this is my car, you guys, um, my project car. So I will be popping up on here with my project car and, um, my, my truck, you guys, my 2004 Cadillac Escalade. Other than that, Pontiac Man will be handling his own channel, you guys. But, like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. To Pontiac Man, if you haven't done that, hit that subscribe button already to join the You Got It squad. You got it, family. You got it, gang. Hit that subscribe button, you guys. And I'm out. Y'all got it. You got it. You got it. Y'all got it. What up, what up? Pontiac Man 7272 Coming back at you again with another video You got it You got it Yeah, you got it